Yo, what's going on guys? It's Johnny Fraze. Back with something new from Brook. Um, this time around, going to be a little left field for me. I'm usually the uh, arcade stick guy. You guys know that. But um, this time around, they wanted me to kind of test out one of the new products. It's um, the Mars Wired Controller, as you guys see on the screen right here. So uh, it is a pad. Um, whether or not it's going to be high grade pro level, I guess that's uh, what I'm going to try to determine. But they do state that there's zero delay so uh, very little lag if they're using their pcb such as the ones that we use for our fight sticks then you know um, that should say a lot because we all know the quality we all know that they're uh, almost lagless so hoping that's uh, intact in this pad um, they're saying it's high performance um, the console compatibility is um, pretty cool now you'll notice it's it, it kind of is similar to a DualShock layout as far as the um, controller uh, goes. I mean, like the D-pad sections on the top left. Um, it does work for uh, the PS3, PS4, and uh, PC, and then also uh, it does have support for Nintendo Switch, which is really cool. Um, just looking at the overview, you guys can see it along with me, it does come with the cable. This is interesting right over here, you do have uh, two separate breakouts for uh, the D-pad section. Um, actually, it looks like three, you know, we'll crack it. We'll crack the box open and validate that, but it uh, looks like there's three pads that you can switch out. A um, little view of the back here, and uh, here's the uh, angled view, looks like the trigger is pretty comfortable. Um, you can see these grips right over here, as well as the uh, touchpad section. Here's their little feature breakout, exquisite texture and delicate design, motion control, head so headset support, um, headset and chat audio support, great. Um, compatibility, uh, PC, please note that it's XID, which is X input, which is great. Uh, rumble function, that's cool too. Um, uh, let's see, what's included? Obviously... Okay, so interchangeable D-pads, you get two. All right, well, we'll see. The picture showed three. Um, here's the configurations for each of the consoles. Pretty straightforward. You guys can look that up. And uh, ways to connect to the Switch. Okay, so you do have to go into the Switch settings to enable the Pro uh, Controller Wireless. Let's see, Pro Controller Wired Communication. You have to just enable that on the console. All right, um, with that said... Let us uh, do a quick unboxing. I have not even cracked this open yet. Uh, let's let's do that. Oh, I'm probably gonna need some scissors. One second. Again, shout out to the Brook team, uh, Zippy, for always uh, supporting me and uh, allowing me to test this stuff ahead of time for you guys. But, all right, here we go. Here's the box, all right? Get that focus for you guys. Okay. Back. Really nice packaging, really clean. All right. All the stuff that we had mentioned is written on the back from the website, so that's all live. I'm trying to do this as clean as possible. Maybe that's not an option. All right, going in. There you go. Okay. Let's see. All right, there's our cable. Uh, sorry, let me try to get this focused. It's micro USB. All right, as expected. Okay. Inside the box, the what do we got here? All right. Okay, so here we go. First thing you want to see, I love these Brook stickers, by the way. These Brook stickers are the bombs. You got two sizes. comes with their um, PCBs as well. Okay, so here we go. Um, headphone cable, right? Looks like they have a little breakout piece right over here. If you wanted to, a small extender. Okay. And there's two D-pads. So I don't know if you guys can see this one. This is kind of like a rounded one. Small indentations for um, your thumb. Feels all right. Typical cross D-pad, right? And they are plastic. Um, there's not really much texture to them. It's just a hard plastic shell. And then let's look at the back while we're at it. Okay, so it looks like they just kind of snap in. All right, I'm gonna put these aside, put my cable aside, move the box aside. Here we go. Um, Okay, so here is the pad itself. 
Okay, let's get some first impressions in here. Uh, right away, wow. Uh, it has a nice, nice solid feel to it. Um, I would say, oh man, it, it, uh, it definitely fits my hand well. You know, I have rather small hands, but it fits my hand well. Really comfortable. The handles feel really good. These grips are grips <laughs> right so i really feel like i have control over the over the pad i'm not much of a pad player i don't really play that many games on pad but um the build quality right away off the bat is awesome so um i would say you know out of 10 it's definitely like uh eight and a half to eight eight and a half to nine as far as build quality all right really solid feel the d-pad oh okay so there you go that was really easy um, as you guys just saw, I just literally took the D-pad out, okay? Let's look at how that looks. Um, you guys can see that. There's, so there's just a little notch in there, I guess, that these kind of click into. So I'm going to try the cross, uh, the cross one, the typical D-pad. Wow, okay. And you know what? Like, just holding the plastic piece, it doesn't feel um, that... I guess, I don't know, like it's, I don't want to say cheap, but it just feels like plastic. But when it's l lodged into the actual D-pad section, it feels like a little bit more textured. I guess it's because of the, um, you know, I guess uh, the way when you can put pressure on it, it does feel a little bit different. Um, let's see, button feels, let's do buttons. So this trigger, let's see, the top triggers right here, left and right, they feel... A little, they, I guess, uh, comparing it to like a DualShock 4, um, they feel like they engage a little bit faster. So um, there's not much of a give to it, rather than the DualShock 4, you can have to press it a little bit more. All right, back triggers, typical feel for a back trigger. Uh, back trigger. So, yep, typical feel for that. I wouldn't say it doesn't feel any different than a, a DualShock 4. Okay, um, let's see, button feel, buttons, you know. Nothing out of the ordinary, just feels like a standard button. Um, pressure is about the same as a DualShock 4. Okay, analogs, uh, pretty smooth. These are actually grippy, grippy analog sticks right here. They feel pretty well, right? So hand feel is on point with this controller. Um, you know, these don't really matter too much. The, uh, you know, the share options and um, home key. Um, so, you know, I'm not really going to base any judgment on these typical feel. All right, guys. So the first thing that I noticed is that the, um, plug section is designed really well. This is a very specific USB cable. Um, the way it's designed, you're going to see these little notches here in the rectangle shape and they fit right into the adjacent port that also is perfectly fit. And there's no way that you can basically bend the cable just the way that the housing is designed. So really nice. Um, Brook logo is gleaming. You also see um, the indicator light over here is on. A little bit of a light in the uh, touchpad section as well. All right, so next up, we're gonna get to a game here. Okay, and I also have to choose the D-pad that I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it out. So I'm, I'm gonna go and pick this guy right now. All right, and we'll do a couple tests. Okay, so let's get in the game. All right. Okay, so button inputs, if you guys can see, button inputs are pretty pretty responsive. I wouldn't say there's any lag at all that I can detect. So that feels really good. Okay. Um, I'm going to test the analog stick first. Okay, so really responsive right away. I was able to do that right away. Okay, I'm really uh, impressed by this analog stick. I suck on pad, and you guys just saw I did that uh, Ryu combo pretty straightforward. All right. Okay, so let's see. Triggers. Okay, I love this uh, R1. It's really responsive. A L little bit less of a throw than I, I mentioned this earlier, but a little bit less of a throw than the um, DualShock. Okay, uh, trigger. This trigger feels pretty natural. Typical trigger. Same thing with these guys. Yep. All right. So, D-pad one test, right? This little prism guy, right? Uh, this one reminds me of like the Steam controller. So we'll do like a Hadouken test. All right. 
This one's a little awkward to me, because um, I don't really, like, you don't really feel any notches where to kind of rest your thumb, all right? And uh, you do kind of have to, I don't know, like, I have to look at it to really get a good feel. I mean, I'm not having issues chucking, chucking plasmas, but... Um, Yeah, it's a little stiff for my taste. Also, there's a brand new pad. I'm sure you got to break it in a little bit. So, not for me, but maybe for other type of games or if you're just used to kind of that pad. Um, all right, we're gonna try this guy right now. It's very similar. This one's notched though, and I can you could definitely feel a little bit more of the corners. And yeah, so I could feel that right away. There's a nice nice little indentation for your thumb. Hadouken test. Yep. I'm having trouble with the DP though. Yep. So this one's a little tough. I would say this is a little, little tough to use. Yep. And I can't do the super right away. So I'm gonna have to get used to this one. It has a little bit more of a feel to it. I could see um, other games where this can be a really nice touch, but for fighting games, I have a feeling I'm just gonna like the typical D-pad. So we're gonna do that one. Here we go. Typical D-pad. That's in there. Yep, right away. Yep, and I could DP right away. So, yeah, I mean, look, it all depends on you, right? Um, this is going to be my setup if I ever end up using this pad. But it seems like uh, this is going to be my setup. A little stiff right now. That's probably because it's a brand new pad. I'm pretty sure you have to break it in. All you pad players probably already, have, already know that. Um... Overall, guys, this is a, a really solid, a really solid pad. Um, if you're probably, I mean, I could see like a FPS uh, gamer using this to really reduce the lag. Um, hand feel feels great, you know. For the price point, it's a pretty solid purchase. So, you know, if you don't want to break the bank in one of those crazy like scuff controllers or anything like that, um, this is probably a good bet for you guys. Um, it's not much of a, a difference from a typical dual shock as far as feel so I feel you're, you're gonna be right at home um, using this guy this, and the analogs feel great so that's my initial uh, review guys um, looking forward to your comments looking forward to other people who are reviewing this as well kinda see what they feel about it again I'm not a pad player but for um, for that quick review just unboxing it um, this is a solid this is a solid pad guys I'm pretty happy to kind of keep this around um, as a, a lag list like you know solution for for console or PC gaming cool guys all right I'm gonna sign off guys feel free to subscribe comment like follow me on Instagram as well at Johnny phrase catch you guys soon peace guys